Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our YouTube live stream. My name is Glenn Tompkins. It's my pleasure to be here today. Thank God it's Friday. Another week of trading down in the books. Well, almost, because we're still in the afternoon. Uh, but by the end of the day, it'll be another trading week down in the books. And looks like uh, our live streams are still doing good. Thank you for that. That all comes from you guys uh, making that happen. Uh, we are on YouTube, so right now that means you have an opportunity to subscribe to the VectorVest software if you like. Um, let me get to that for in a quick second. First off, my name is Glenn Tompkins. I'm a senior instructor here at VectorVest. I've been at VectorVest for 14 years, a long time. And um, I'm here to talk to you about the power of the software. And this is part of our, our new mini-series starting off the 2019 year. Uh, our first mini-series called The Seven Secrets to Making Money in the Market. Last week, we covered the first two secrets. And this week, we're going to cover the second two secrets. And so I'm glad that you're here, you're able to see that. And you know, in the, when you talk about the, the, the secrets themselves, they are secrets that not everybody knows about. And for and many of you out there who are new, this is a great way to get a, a full, better feel of how it works. So let me do this, do this, do this, wrong way. There we go. Last week we covered keep it simple and read the graphs. Today we're going to cover heed the color guard and exploit the home page. Now when you're looking at these things, these things are all being covered by a software called VectorVest. VectorVest is a portfolio management and stock analysis system. What we do, and it's been around for 30 years, so it's not a company that's just been here and now goes away. It's been here for a while. It must be doing something right in order to be around for 30 years. Um, we in, entail uh, helping you manage your portfolio and analyze any of the over 8,000 stocks that we track in the United States. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can analyze any of over 23,000 stocks that, that we have globally in the seven different markets that we track. All right, so there's a plethora of stocks that can be used to help you in your trading and helping you to find the right stocks based upon how you invest in the market. That's what we're all about. We're not a broker. So any of you who may have a question of if we are a broker, we're not a broker. So you cannot buy and sell stocks through us. But we are that intermediary be between you and your broker and using our software to get your trading ideas over to your broker where you'll actually place the trade. So that's what we do. Um, I actually have my chain out today, just so that you know. I'm a New Yorker, so as my New Yorker, I have my Yankee charm, and I have my cross because I pray for my Yankees. First time I've ever seen my, uh, my actual jewelry out on screen, but uh, today was one of those days where I did that. All right, so that's a little bit about me. That's a little bit about the software and what we do. Um, check out our Twitter. We do have a Twitter account. Um, check out our Twitter for upcoming streams and vote in the polls. All right, vote in those polls. Let's get a feel of what you guys out there are feeling depending on the question that we ask. If you haven't seen part one of this mini series, tap on the video now and click the link provided. It will be provided at the end of the stream too. So if you're just coming in on the second part of the three-part mini-series, uh, you can check out the first one as well. Um, and looks like I'm right on board to get into um, the Seven Secrets Part 2. So if you're here, let me hear you chat. Um, if you're here, let me know that you're here and let me know where you're from. YouTube is a, is a big platform. A lot of people show up here. So I would like I love having the interaction. Don't be afraid to talk. Please don't. Please don't be afraid to talk. Come talk to me. Come and talk to me. And let me know that you're here and we'll go from there. All right? So we're going to start with the home page because um, secret number three. Um, put up secret number three for me uh, real quick. So using the Vector Vest software, heed the color guard. The color guard, we like to talk about the color guard being the, um, the newspaper into your the home page being the, the the newspaper into the market for you and part of that home page part of that newspaper 
really entails the color guard and the color guard is a traffic light into the market. How many of you feel that having a traffic light into the market is beneficial? Again, I'm gonna try to get you guys to chat as much as I can. How many of you feel that having a traffic light into the market is beneficial? All right, as I give you that opportunity to type it in, I'm gonna keep moving on. That traffic light, well, just like a traffic light does, you know, when you see green, it's okay to buy stocks along. When you see a lot of red, it's not a good time to buy stocks along. And when you see a lot of yellow, it's a good time to be cautious in the market or slow down. And I think being able to have that information at your fingertips puts you in a better position to know when it's okay to really add on to your positions, buy new positions, hold on to your existing positions, or start selling out of some of the positions you own or stop buying stocks long. And if you have that information, it's going to help you make a better process to be able to consistently make money. Now, you'll hear me say this on more than one occasion. There's a difference between making money in the market and consistently making money in the market. We're in the business to show you how to consistently make money in the market. That's what we do. You can pick a stock, make a lot of money and think that you're a genius. Man, I made a great decision. But what happens with your next trade or the trade after that or the trade after that? Now, I'm not going to tell you that every trade that you pick with VectorVest is going to be a profitable trade. But I will tell you, <clears throat> we'll give you a higher propensity of probability. Propensity of probability. Wow. Say that 10 times real time. Uh, say that 10 times really fast. You're going to get the propensity to have the probability to make more money than not. And learning how to mitigate losses is going to be important too. So when we're looking at heating the color guard, looking at that home page, using that home page as your real traffic light into the market, you're going to be better at ease, especially when the market's going awry, especially when the market is going crazily volatile. This becomes the beacon <clears throat> that steers you through stormy waters. And, you know, I think we all need that at some point in time. Because if not, we're gonna get lost in the ocean, drift around a lot, and not have a defined direction of where we need to go. And sometimes it gets you caught out there to the point that you drown. We don't want that to happen. We are that beacon to guide you through the stormy waters to the shore, all right? So heating the color guard is another powerful secret within the top seven secrets. So now I'm going to start us off on the home page. And this home page, again, is your traffic light into the market. Currently, as we look at how many stocks we track, we track 8,094 stocks in the database. That's in the U.S. database. And remember, we track over seven databases or seven databases, and they all have the amount that fits that country. Okay, The databases uh uh, reflect the countries that they track. We track the U.S., Canada, Australia, U.K., EU, um, Hong Kong, and somebody else. I'm probably missing one body. Hong Kong and Singapore. Singapore is the seventh country. So we track seven countries, and each one of those have stocks that fit in their in their uh, uh, prospective countries, respective countries. Uh, based on that, but we track the most stocks in the U.S. database, which is 8,094. Every stock in our database gets a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. That's important because just because a stock has a buy recommendation doesn't always mean it's the right time to buy stocks. That's important because that's why market timing is important. Market timing tells you the direction of the market. We time the market, and in timing the market, we don't prognosticate which way the market's going to go. We follow the trend of the market and keep you on the right side of the trend. By keeping you on the right side of the trend, you're going to be able to know whether it's okay to buy stocks or not buy stocks, hold on to your stocks, manage the trades, or start to think about closing out of positions, all right? So every stock gets a buy, sell, or hold recommendation. If I move over to our market timing gauge, this is our day-over-day -day traffic light. It tells you on a day-over-day -day basis, are we bearish, neutral, or bullish? Right now, with today's activity in the market, we are three ticks into the green. We give the guidance as to what this information means. The color guard is bullish. 
VectorVest does advocate buying safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price at this time. Very straightforward. Very straightforward. So that's why I'm letting you know that this homepage is your traffic light into the market. This is your daily traffic light. Now, if I want to look more into a more uh, in-depth traffic light, I go down to the color guard, and this is where we start to talk about heating the color guard. The color guard tracks three of our market timing indicators every day. Price, which is the price movement of the vector vest composite. Well, let's go back up a little bit. This is the vector vest composite. The vector vest composite is an indexed arithmetic average of all of the stocks that we track. So all of these stocks, 8,094 stocks, are tracked into one indicator called the VVC or vector vest composite. It is an indexed arithmetic average of all of those stocks. And currently, that average of all of those stocks is currently trading at, where am I? I have it. I'm trying oh, to Oh, okay. It is currently trading at $44.05. Now, we track that indicator on both the week-over-week week and day-over-day day basis. And currently today, it's up 9 tenths of a percent, 8.87 percent. We also track the other indexes in the market. The Dow, which tracks the movement of 30 stocks, up 9 tenths of a percent. The NASDAQ, which is the movement of about 4,300 stocks, tracks the, movement of about, uh, tracks the movement, and we can see how far it's up. Now, let's go see. Somebody said, I invited some friends. Thank you, Ask Lapides. Uh, I appreciate that. Ben Waz says, how the sound is not high. We're working on that. Um, I think we turned it up a little bit, and hopefully, Ben Waz, uh, that is a little higher. Hopefully, let me know if it's not. All right. Um, need to set reminders for these. It's not easy to find. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. If you in your YouTube, you should have in the top right hand corner a little bell. Looks like a little bell. Click on that bell, and that bell will help you to set up reminders for when the next um, presentation is going to be. All right. That's what you do. Use that little bell as a means to set up your reminders, all right, or see when the next um, presentation will be coming up, all right? So as we continue to look on at this color guard and looking at uh, the price movement of the vector vest composite, today again, it's at, oh, we were talking about the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ tracks about 4,300 stocks. It's up 1.19%. That's the, the leader of the major indices today, but keep in mind, it tracks about 4,300 stocks, but it looks at very tech-heavy stocks. So the Googles, the Apples, the Microsofts, well, not, not Microsofts, but a lot of the tech-heavy, a lot of the tech stocks are traded in the NASDAQ. Problem is with that, you're putting a lot of your eggs in the one basket. Not all of them, but a lot of eggs in the one basket. And all it takes is for a stock like Apple or Google to, uh, to do good or bad, it can affect that whole NASDAQ. All right, the S&P 5 and 100 track 5 and 100 stocks, respectively. Um, a lot of the stocks that are tracked in the S&P 500 are very good stocks, but would you rather track the movement of 500 stocks or track the movement of over 8,000 stocks? And there again comes the uh, vector vest composite. All of these indices are up today, so the market is bullish today. That's the reason why our market timing gauge is three ticks into the green on a daily basis. And it tells you it's okay to buy stocks today. Go down to the color guard. I'm going to expand this out a little bit, change it from a small to a medium. Now, what does that do? I'm going to give you more information on how to effectively time the market or effectively heed the color guard to know. And I'm going to teach you a couple of things. I'm going to teach you how to get in and out of the market very easily by way of that color guard. Turn your mic up. Turn my mic up a little bit. Okay. Is that the right way? Yeah, I think so. Did it, is, is, it, is that better? I think it's the wrong way. Turn it, it, it to the right. I'm turning it to the right. Okay. Yeah, How about I move this up a little bit? Maybe go closer to yeah, there you go. Hopefully that makes sense. Does that sound better? Oh, I hope so. Uh, and Joey is letting me know if that, if that sounds better or not by way of your chat. Hopefully that sounds better. I turned the mic up and I moved it closer. So hopefully that sounds better. Did he say it sounded better? No, yeah, but they're only like a 30 second delay, so. All right, so that's fine. Um, now, looking at the color guard, remember the color guard tracks the movement of these indicators, the price, 
is the price movement of the vector vest composite. We track its movement both on a day over day and week over week basis. The next indicator, RT, stands for relative timing. The RT looks at the short term price trend of the market. This indicator is cast on a scale between zero and two. We make it simple. It's good, excellent. We make that simple. Between zero and two, if the indicator, any indicator that we have that is on that scale, if that indicator is above the value of one, it's favorable. If it's below the value of one, it's unfavorable. So that's a good thing. Zero to two, above one favorable, below one unfavorable. This indicator though, looks at the short term price trend of the market. It's gonna only answer one question for me. Is the market in an uptrend or a downtrend? When RT is above one, the market's in an uptrend. The more above one it is, the faster in an uptrend it is. When it's below the value of one, it's in a downtrend. The further below one it is, the faster in a downtrend it is. So that indicator is a very simple indicator to, to use, but it's a powerful indicator in determining if the market really is in an uptrend or a downtrend. So that indicator is super important. Now, when I was talking about uh, that this functions like a traffic light, use that. Green, today, green is bullish. It's good and okay to buy stocks. If we were in the yellow, it would be neutral. Caution is advised. Notice that when we say red is bearish, do not buy any stocks. Notice we'll never tell you to sell stocks. That's up to you. Everybody on an individual basis will determine when it's the right time for them to sell stocks. But when we get a lot of red in the color guard, especially in this market timing gauge, that's not a good time to add new bullish stocks to your portfolio. So think of it from that perspective. Now, many of you always say, well, you never tell us to sell our stocks. That's because everybody invests a little differently. Everybody has their own set of stops that they're comfortable with. So we recognize that and we respect that. That's why we'll never tell you at any point in time, hey, go sell your stocks, because what might be the right time for us to sell may not still be the right time for you to sell. So let me answer that question and put that misnomer to bed that we never tell you to sell your stocks. But guess what? When it's red and it's bearish, you're not supposed to buy any new stocks. That should help. And if you're not putting on any new stocks, then maybe the stocks that you're in, in that red situation, would be getting very close to your level to sell stock, to sell the stocks that you own. Always have stops in place. Always have stops in place. Now, I'm going to move this to a small real quick. I'll tell you why. Because this is where we get the idea of how well these indicators are doing on both a week-over-week -week and day-over-day -day basis. Notice that today's price is at $44.04. And, and right, we have real-time data, so this will tick real-time as the market moves along. I go back five days, one, two, three, four, five. I can see that the price today at $44.05 is higher than it was one week ago, $43.58. So I know that the price of the vector vest composite has risen on a week over week basis. But wait, there's more. We track it on a day over day basis as well. I can look back yesterday, the price closed at $43.67. Today's price is higher than it was yesterday as well. So this indicator rose on both the week over week and day over day basis. That's why we assign a green tile. This color guard gives you a more Detailed look at the market based on those three indicators. RT today closed right now. It's not closed. The market's still moving. So we can see these indicators tick real time. Right now, RT is at 1.03. Well, it closed higher. It is currently higher than it was a week ago at 1.01. .01, and it's currently higher than it was yesterday at 1.01. .01. This indicator rose on both a week-over-week -week and day-over-day -day basis and is above the value of one, any indicator that's based on the scale between zero and two. Above one is favorable, right? This indicator not only rose on a week-over-week -week and day-over-day -day basis, but it's above the value of one and favorable, so we assign a green tile. The next indicator, the BSR or buy-to-sell ratio. We didn't talk about that yet. What is the buy-to-sell ratio? Remember, every stock in our database gets a buy, sell, or hold recommendation every single day. We look at the relationship of buy recommendations divided by sells. Any of you who are new, these are not buys in the market and sells in the market. 
These are buy recommendations in the VectorVest software compared to sell recommendations in the VectorVest software. There's a myriad of different things that are needed for a stock to get a buy recommendation, a hold recommendation, or a sell. And I'll save that for another stream to teach you how stocks get to, buy, get to be a buy or hold or a sell. But right now, there's, we have more stocks that are buy recommendations than sells. That BSR, or buy to sell ratio, is above the value of one and it's favorable. This is not cast on a scale between zero and two though. But above one, we have more buys in the system than sells. This indicator looks at the overall health of the market. Above the value of one, the market is showing signs of strength. So again, going back to the daily color guard, this color guard really encapsulates what's really going on in the market without having to do a lot of scurrying around to try to find out data, 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 put it all together and come up with a solution. We give you all of that information in one central spot known as the color guard, and that's why step number three is to heed the color guard. Currently, three green lights today, that's a bullish point for the day. The MTI, MTI looks at all three of these indicators into one indicator, also cast on a scale between zero and two. Above one is favorable, below one is unfavorable, but the MTI also tracks something known as the underlying trend of the market. Above one, the underlying trend of the market is up. So look at all of the data that you're getting. Ah, not data. Look at all of the useful information that you're getting here in regards to knowing what's truly going on in the market. Let me back up. You look at TV, you look at CNBC, you look at MSNBC, you look at Fox News, you look at a lot of the news channels and the talking heads that are out there, okay? And you listen to them talk and they have people on board, you know, next coming up, is the market bullish or bearish? Tune in, eight minutes from now, we'll talk to two people and they'll tell you what's going on. Fine. Eight minute commercials go by, you go back to the show. Hi, Joe. And you work for blah, blah, blah. What do you think is going on in the market? Well, we think that the market is bullish right now based on what's going on with the multiples of the stocks and the earnings and knowing that the Fed is doing this and blah, blah. They have a long dissertation as to why they feel the market is bullish. Then you ask Mike, so Mike, what do you think? Well, you know, Mike works for blah, blah, blah. He's a hedge fund manager. He's been managing stocks He's got $40 trillion under management and blah, 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 blah. So you think it, you think of all of the things that they put behind what they do, you say, wow, this guy's got some credibility. So then he turns around and says, well, no, I think the market is bearish because I'm looking at the ETFs and I'm looking at the 10-year year, 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 year yield bond and I'm looking at what's going on with gasoline and oil and what's going on in Brazil, all of those things. So all you, and all you, you're getting caught up in all that stuff. Go, oh man, this guy knows what he's talking about. And the market is bearish. So they argue back and forth. Who thinks the market is bullish? Who thinks the market is bearish? And I know a lot of you are chuckling in your seats right now because that's exactly what goes on when you look at what's going on in the market. Mike says, thank you. Mike says, you are the man, Glenn. Great job. I appreciate that. All right, so think about that. These two are, these two are going back out. And after the segment is done, are you any more knowledgeable if the market is bullish or bearish? Think about that. No, go back. Uh, not there. Okay, so you think about that and you say, am I any more educated on knowing if the market really is bullish or bearish or did I just listen to seven minutes of information and I want my seven minutes back? All right, so now let's fast forward from there and go back to here. How about I can tell you that the price of the vector vest composite is risen on a week over week and day over day basis, gives me a green tile. That vector vest composite tracks the move of over 8,000 stocks. Boom, RT, which tells me if the market is in an uptrend or not, it's got a green light because it rose on both the week over week and day over day basis. Boom, let's go to the buy to sell ratio. It looks at the health of the market. It rose on a week over week and day over day basis. I have a green light. How quickly did I discern that the market is doing well right now 
that the market right now is bullish. Not only that, look at the color guard. Look at the colors over the last six days. How many green lights do we have in there? How many green lights tell me that that indicator rose on both the week over week and day over day basis and is capsulated in the last six trading days? Did I have to listen to those people on TV get me more confused? Or do I have the power of the VectorVest software to go, hell, I know the market's moving up. Plain and simple. I got more green lights than I have anything. The market is bullish. I can look at the MTI. The MTI tells me that the underlying trend of the market is up. I can go to the trend column, which tracks two trends of the market for you every day. The first two letters in the trend column shows you an indicator called the primary wave. The primary wave is the week-to-week -week movement of the vector vest composite. I can clearly see that the price has risen on a week-over-week -week basis, so the primary wave is up. How about the second two letters looks at the underlying trend of the market, or the MTI? The MTI is above the value of one, so the second two letters are up. How about the slowest, most conservative call we have in the market is called the confirmed calls. We have a confirmed up call. Good. Gordon Jim, look at everything that VectorVest puts in your hands right there. Do I have to look at the TV and now make the decision? Do I have to get a newsletter in the, in the, in, in, in the snail mail to say, hey, look at this report? Do I have to get an email from somebody saying, get this free report, these stocks are going to blah, 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 blah? No. I got the power of heating the color guard, the third secret, heating the color guard to do what I got to do. So let's go back to what the slide says. It functions like a traffic light. Green is bullish. It's okay to buy. Yellow is neutral. Caution is advised. So in that color guard, right now, we got more green than anything. The color guard does not tell you when to sell. I talked to you about that because everybody's feeling on selling is different. So we respect that. So you got to feel what you're... And you know something? How do you know when to sell? What's your threshold for pain? What's the most you're willing to lose on a position? That needs to be in your trading plan. That needs to be in your trading plan. The most amount of money I'm willing to lose on a position, that should be your stop. Plain and simple. So now, can I go to the next one, Joey? Woo! Yeah. All right, another thing, when you're heating the color guard, watch the daily color guard reports. Let's go back to here. Watch the daily color guard reports. And we don't have it here. We have it here. All right, watch the daily color guard report right here. All right? That is a nightly, oh, that's why. That is a nightly <coughs> video that we do every night. We tell you what went on the market today, and we prepare you for tomorrow. If you're not, if you're a subscriber and you're not watching that, you're doing yourself a disservice. Somebody like me, a senior instructor, will report every night as to what's going on in the market. Use that information. So not only use the color guard, Use that daily, you, you know, use the color guard report to back up or affirm what's going on. Now, before I move on to the next slide, I want to show you something. Now, I'm going to put this back onto medium and actually move you on to this one. All right. Remember I told you I'm going to show you when you can get in and out of the market? Let's go back here. <coughs> we had a confirmed down call. That's the slowest, most conservative call we have, Okay. What was going on in the market? January 8th, a green light in the color guard price and column. Okay, green light in the color guard. That's a bullish sign, even though we had the longer term signal as a down. As a more aggressive trader, I could have been in the market. I could have been in the market for one, two, three days. Okay, at that time, when you get a yellow light, you don't buy any new stocks. But if you need more confirmation than just having the green light, then maybe you look for uh, the primary wave up and the green light. That is good for the prudent investor. If I didn't have a primary wave up or I, if I had a primary wave up and not a green light, the aggressive trader would be in the market. The prudent investor would wait a little bit more. Now I need more confirmation. There's a confirmation, green light. So now as a prudent investor, I'm in. If I need more confirmation, how about I wait until the MTI goes above the value of one? That means the underlying trend in the market is up. So now, a little less aggressive, primary wave up, green light, and the MTI above one. How about I give you a fourth opportunity? How about when you're looking for primary wave up, green light, MTI above one, and a confirmed call, the slowest, most conservative timing signal would have had you in 
on January 18th. So no matter what type of investor you are, we have the means to get you in and out of the market at using this color guard. Folks, this is why you heed the color guard. Watch the daily color guard reports. Oops, hold on. And what else is on here? Watch the daily color guard reports. And now we're going to go into the fourth secret, which is exploit the homepage. Anybody have any questions on how, uh, on how to effectively use the color guard? That is one of the most powerful things that we have in this software. You dry at my, uh, I was, that can be dry. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, coming down. Thank you for your feedback. This, oh, uh, found the part one on the channel. Thank you for having it there. Missed it. Um, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Um, that can be dry. Uh, to the oh, the color guard report being dry. Listen, it could be at... Uh, depending on the, the person that gives it. Listen, we got different personalities that give it, um, but they all know what they're talking about. So just keep that in mind. Everybody who gives the, the report, the color guard report, knows what they're talking about. And it's all about styles. All right, so just keep that in mind. It really is all about styles. So as we talked about uh, using the color guard, that's a powerful piece of the puzzle. And that's why it's one of the seven secrets. Let's now go back to Fast or Smart. Let me do that. Dang it, I'm just jumping all over the place. Woo! I don't know. I don't know. I'm jumping. You're going to be clicking. I'm trying to click on the right stuff. Ex Tell me what you want. Exploit the home page. Um, so, this is our fourth secret? Uh, that's the fourth secret. So, we took that, we looked at just the home page, and we looked at just the, the color guard. Now, I'm going to show you how to exploit the home page. What that means is looking at all of the other things that are on that home page. Remember, this whole home page is your entrance into uh, the, the software. Now, as I look at um, that, where am I at? There we go. Why did you put me there? Don't put me there. I wanted to go here. And how do I get it back over here? Oh, Lord. Put me, oh, there it is. Exploit the home page. I know. All of the information you need to make money with VectorVest is on the home page. James All right. says he was in the primary wave. Oh, he got in. So James got in on the, on the primary wave? Marjon. Marjon. Oh, that's Mark. Mark got in on the primary wave. Depending on how aggressive you are, you have a signal to start getting you back into the market after the market has gotten beaten up. All right? So all the information you need to make money with VectorVest is on the homepage. Let me break that down. All right? Put you back onto the big homepage. All right? And that way, now you get a better feel of all of the things that are here. I'm going to, can I move things around on this homepage, Joey? Uh, I'd rather you didn't. Okay. So, first thing we talked about was the market timing gauge and the color guard. That's not the only thing that's on this homepage. And now that's why I'm showing you more of the homepage. Now, um, all, okay, I got questions coming up. Joey's making sure I see them. Um, I was in on the primary wave. Primary is slow for me. Really? That is the fastest indicator uh, that we have. Do you mean slow for you or fast for you? Ask, ask, ask the Pates. Um, you saying that it's, but not holding funds long. The primary wave is the fastest indicator that we have. It's the fastest that will get you in. Let me show you something. I'm going to go to the graphs. Talking about market timing. Talking about market timing. Go back to home. Go back to home. Okay. Um, there we go. Let me show you a little something about those calls. I'm looking at a one-year look-back period on the Vector Vest Composite. So I got a little bit of time where I can talk about this. <coughs> I'm going to show you the fastest indicator all the way to the slowest indicator to get you in to the market. Let's start with the primary way. Okay. I'm going to go down. You probably can't see this, but I'm going to go down and change and put on the primary wave. But you're going to see all of the yellow, uh, all of the red and green entry points. Notice that this indicator in Aslopades, if you're saying that this is too slow, do you notice that over the year how many calls it, it, it initiated? A lot. This is a fast timing indicator. It'll get you out close to market tops. You know, it'll get you in close to market bottoms. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to catch all of the bumps and wiggles in the market. 
That's why we call it the fastest indicator. Let's slow this down a little bit. All right, hold on. Um, yes, I mean too fast. There you go. That's what I thought. I mixed the words. I'm still in with you, pro. All right, that's fine. But this is a, oh, this is a fast indicator that will get you in, again, close to bottoms and out close to tops and do it time and time again. If this is too fast for you, especially if you look at these signals, you can determine that this is too fast for you and back away from it. Let me slow it down a little bit. <laughs> let's go put on the primary, uh, let's go put on the green light buyer. Those are the green lights that show up in the color guard pricing column like we have right now. Now the cool thing about this timing signal, notice that it, it only gives you a down on a confirmed down, but when the market's moving up, it gives you specific days on when it's okay to buy stocks. The yellow lights mean that there's no green light in the color guard pricing column. So on the green lights, you can buy stocks or replace stocks that you've gotten out of. Now the bad thing about this though, is the market is moving up. Not every green light is the same and it can get you in even as the market is starting to pull down. So I'm gonna put a change on this. I'm gonna put on the green light, the green light buyer RT kicker. This now uses moving averages of RT in order to get you in and out. Notice that some of the green lights went away. Not as many, all right? Let's slow this down a little bit more. Let's go from the green light buyer to the DEW, technical timing signal. Get you in and out um, nicely, but from a technical standpoint. And then go to the slowest, most conservative timing call, the confirmed calls, a lot less calls. So it all depends, Aslopades. He says I like this one. All right, so oh, there you go. Aslopades says he likes this one, which is probably the primary of uh, the confirmed calls. It issues less calls. Look, at it does a good job of keeping you in when the market's up and getting you out when the market's down. Not a bad way to go if you're looking for your longer-term holdings. Fast it, trades for a few days. Fast trade. Well, if you're going to do fast trades for a few days, I'd probably use the DEW. The DEW or the green light buyer. But if I'm going to trade <clears throat> on a more day-over-day -day basis, primary wave will get me in and out. So, folks... <clears throat> I've taken you through the market timing graph. Even though this secret is to heed the uh, uh, exploit the home page, part of exploiting the home page is making sure that the market timing is right for you. I've shown you the different market timing calls that we have, and that was just four out of the seven. That was four out of the seven. Actually, it was five out of the seven because I did the green light buyer and the RT kicker. So that was five out of the seven that I've shown. Based upon what you see there, you can find a timing signal for you however you invest in the market. All right, so I'm going to go back to my home page. Remember, we're talking about exploiting the home page. What else is on this home page? All right, how about we have the top industries and the top sectors on this home page as well? If I want to hone in on, well, man, insurance, a, a, a insurance health is that it's up. 1% uh, today, but overall, it's got an RT of 1.36. This is the fastest moving industry in the whole, uh, on, in the software. I'm using the home page to get that information. I'm not, folks, I've never gotten to any of the other tabs. I'm strictly looking at the home page. First off, we looked at the color guard. Now I'm still just looking at all of the other aspects of the home page. So the top industries, top five industries are here. The top five sectors are are here. So I can hone in from sector to industry to help me find some stocks. Well, how about we also have the top stocks by way of our master indicator, VST, with eHealth at the top of the list, up 1.81%. How about SMTX, which is up 3.79%. How about ATTU, one of the top five stocks in the database by VST, up 8.84%. Folks, every stock that's our top VST stock on a good up day today is making money. How about that's a good place to be able to find stocks whenever you want them. If you don't know what searches you want to look at yet, how about looking at our top VST stocks using that with market timing? Folks, does it get any simpler than that? Think about it. That's a rhetorical question. How simple is that? So now we're looking at powerful information in its simplest form of simplicity. You put that as a good combination together, you're going to make money in the market. Not only that, you're going to make money consistently. There's a difference, again, between making money and making money consistently. 
Put the timing together. Look at this home page. We haven't gotten into the viewers and the graphs and the unit search and the back testers and all that. We haven't gotten into any of that. This is just a home page, and that's why it's secret number four. It's that powerful. Fast trades for a few days. VST is the vector vest marker. VST is the VST, is the value safety timing. It's a vector formula. All right. Jay says top VST rocks, and it does. Looking at some of the top VST stocks consistently can help you to make money. I right? can consistently help you to make money. All right. So looking at what's going on in the color guard, we're more bullish right now. Looking at what's going on in the market today. And even if you're an end of day investor and you don't have real time data, then you're going to, oh, 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 that's why I didn't move it. That's why I didn't move it. All right. Um, the whole idea is being able to use this software to make money. Now, I'm going to ask, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? Because if you do, say again. Let's see. Jay says, what is the best signal for a swing trade? Let's check that out. So let's go. You can move that back down. Hang on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go bring back up the vector vest, uh, the market timing graph. I'm going to ask you the question. Look at the signals that are generated. And I'm going to give you three to choose from. Would you swing trade with the primary wave? Would you swing trade with the confirmed calls and look at the signals that are generated? Or would you can would you swing trade with the DEW? Now let me while you answer the question. So it's going to be you're going to enter, enter one, two, or three. Um, the primary wave. The what did I say? Dang nabbit! I didn't write it down. I said the primary wave. Um, the DEW or the confirmed calls. All right, there we go. Now, keep in mind, looking at the signals that are here, a, a swing trade is trying to stay in the stock for a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Do I want to use the slow signals such as the confirmed call? Do I want to use the primary way, which is a very fast signal, can get me in and out a lot faster? Or look at the signals on the DEW. Will that help me to stay in, stay in the stock a couple of days to a couple of weeks? So type in one, two, or three. One, two, or three. Or put the name, the primary wave, the confirmed call, or the DEW. So I'm going to let you guys answer the question. I know what the answer is. Um, too fast. Go again. So ask Pilates. I'm going to tell you. There you go. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to tell you uh, uh, what, they, what I said. The three that I made mention are going to either be the confirmed calls, look at those signals, all right? The primary wave, look at those signals. Or the DEW, look at those signals. The whole idea is I'm trying to hold stocks for a couple of days to a couple of weeks. Out of those three timing signals, which would you use for swing trading? All right? Two, seven, one. I'm going to be looking at the DEW. That's the one that I want that I want you to get involved to. Three three would have been the DEW. Everybody who's typing in three or typing in DEW, based on those signals, that's exactly the one uh, that you would be looking at uh, for a swing trade. Yes, at J, I want to do this trading. Uh, what is the best signal? So there you go. You can move that over. So now, Jay talked about what was the best signal for swing trading. As uh, Lepetis said that he wanted to also get on, get on board with the swing trading. I'm going to tell you that the DEW, look at that. A couple of days to a couple of weeks to the downside. A couple of days to a couple of weeks. Back and forth. A couple of days to a couple of weeks. This one really works out really well for a swing trade perspective. Uh, I think that the primary wave is too fast. That's good for shorter term trades, all right? Nam namely, I could be in a stock in, in today and out tomorrow, technically. And that can happen over and over. If I'm looking at the primary wave, I'm only buying while the primary wave is up. And when the primary wave is down, I'm either sitting on the sidelines or playing the market to the downside, one of the two. But the DEW is a good signal to hone in for your swing trading. And again, the difference between a day trade and a swing trade, day trade, is I'm in a stock for a couple of minutes to a couple of hours. 
a swing trade, I'm in a couple of days to a couple of weeks. And on a longer term conservative, I'm in a stock for a couple of weeks to a couple of months. I believe that the buy and hold is long gone to the wayside and the paradigm of, of buy and hold changed in the 2008, 2009 time period when we had the financial crisis. Too many people are still afraid to get into a buy and hold scenario because they don't know when another crisis like that will happen again. People are still missing out on opportunities to play the market to the upside because they don't want 2008 to happen again. I will tell you this, that the majority of the money that I made in the market when I grew my portfolio was made in the 2008, 2007, 2008. VectorVest had us out of the market and I was playing the market to the downside. And I was playing a lot of options to the downside. I made a lot of money in a short amount of time Playing, them, playing those options to the downside, a lot of money, where a lot of people were still holding on to stocks and they were taking big losses, down 50, 60% in their portfolios, in their 401ks, in their IRAs. Whereas I was capitalizing on what VectorVest gave us. Why? Because I was able to read, uh, heed the color guard and exploit the homepage. That stuff is so important. That's why it's one of the seven secrets. These are secrets that, if known, you're going to make yourself into a better investor. There's no doubt in my mind. You're going to. And that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's the beauty of holding these sessions, to learn what, other, what you might otherwise not learn. You'll get caught up in the quagmire of what's going on on TV. You'll get caught up in the quagmire of what's going on by way of um, emails and, and social media. All of those things will catch you and they will put your head on a swivel like this. And if you're doing that, how can you focus on anything? If your head is quickly going from side to side, where are you going? Where's your path? VectorVest is going to put you on a path. Our, our, our options, we'll talk about that um, starting next week when we get the, we'll go through the last three secrets. And don't be concerned about options. I'm going to teach you. Will you do live? Well, will you do a live on options? I'm not going to do a live trade on options. I won't do that, but I'll help you understand why options are a viable secret. We'll have a live stream on. Huh? We will have a live stream. Oh, we'll have a live stream on it, but I'm not going to do a live options trade or anything like that uh, on the live stream. So next week we will have the last three secrets, and options will be one of them. Options will be one of them. Does anybody have any questions? I still have about 10 minutes left in this presentation. Does anybody have any questions? Learning how to, uh, let's go back to my main homepage. This is the fourth secret, um, using the homepage. Folks, there's a lot of information here. All right, we talked about the market timing gauge, which is our daily traffic light. We talked about the color guard which is our you know, uh, week over week, tracking these indicators on a week over week basis. Watch the trend, watch the call column. Watching the daily color guard report every night. Folks, if you're not doing it, you need to be doing that. All right, we also have the top industries and the top sectors. And I can stream and I can drill down into those to get you what they are. Uh, uh, is it there on the list? Sorry. Oh, it, it, it is there. Yeah. Next week, we will be talking about, we'll start talking about options. That's going to be the fifth secret. The fifth secret is going into next week is going to be learning how to trade options. Again, it's going to be very basic in regards to options. So looking at how many stocks we track, how many of them are buy, holds, or sells? How many stocks we track? How many of them are buy, sells, and holds? What's going on? You can get to, directly to our university um, from this homepage. You can look at, um, again, the sectors, the industries, what's going on. Andrew says, can you all help me out so I can start a small trading account? Huh? Um, probably not the best place to, to try to do that. Everybody... Everybody's trying to do, um, okay, I just now I understand your question. At least I think I do. Ask Lepades says, Robinhood is a good trading, is a good place to, to start trading. Why? Because they don't have any, they don't have any um, commissions. All right, they don't have any commissions. I do have a Robinhood account, but the majority of my trading is done through E-Trade. 
All right. Um, so that's a good place to start. Uh, no, if you have Robin Hood, you don't have to have anything. You can start off with no money. If you don't have, uh, if you, if, oh, if you're asking for the money, then this, <laughs> this ain't the place to start. This ain't the place for that. All right. That's not, that's not what this is all about. All right. No, it doesn't, that, that's not what matters uh, right there, Asla Pettis. I'm thinking he's trying to get, and that's not going to happen here. All right. That's not what we do here. All right. I'm, I'm here to teach you how to use the software. That's our goal, and, and I'm going to stick to that. All right, I'm definitely going to stick to that. All right, got about eight minutes. I didn't see any much more come up in the way of questions, so put me behind my desk. Let me do that, Joey. All right, this is an opportunity for me to get to talk to you personally, face-to-face, -face, by way of camera. Um if there's anybody in here that is not a subscriber, we have a subscribe button. Do we not have a subscribe button? We have a subscribe button. Hit it. Um, for 30 days, you can take out a trial to the VectorVest software for $9.95. Just looking at that home page gives you a plethora of information to help you to make better decisions. Hopefully, you were able to see that. Hopefully, you were really able to see the benefit behind having that home page. Nobody else has a home page like we do. Nobody else does what we do. I've had the questions over the years of who are your your rivals, who are your com your competitors. I answer the question in the most in the most honest way I can. Nobody does what we do. Nobody analyzes stocks the way that we do. Nobody times the market like we do. The MTI on the home page is that a secret? The MTI is part of the home page. So the whole idea, and when I say the secret, that the secret of the uh, 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 of looking at the home page is looking at everything that's there, ask Lepades. So don't just single any one thing out. But the MTI is on the home page. If it's if it's there, it helps you to see what the underlying trend of the market is doing. All right, and that's not a bad thing. But if you haven't taken a trial yet, think about it. Nine dollars and ninety five cents for thirty days. If you want to be alerted to when the next um, presentation is going to be or the next stream is going to be, by all means, hit that, that bell at the top. That will get you locked into that. But the third and fourth secret of heating the color guard from a market timing perspective, it'll tell you whether the market is bullish or bearish, if it's okay for you to buy stocks or not. Look at that market timing gauge. Day over day, it will change. But the color guard will stay a lot more constant over the last six trading days to give you that information. Um, talking about that, looking at the home page as a whole, looking at everything that encompasses the home page, that kind of stuff is extremely useful. And again, nobody else has that. A lot of that is proprietary to us. A lot of that is proprietary for us. And that information, as a subscriber, you have access to. Use it. The more you use it, the more simple it becomes. The more simple it becomes, the more you'll use it. You keep making money with it, your confidence level grows. You learn to trust the system. We've been around for 30 years. The system works. But it all comes down to you trusting it. That only comes with building your confidence to be able to do that. All right? So... I still only got five minutes. I can ready. I can be ready to, sh to stop this now. All I need to know is, does anybody have any questions? If you have questions that I need to answer, this is why I want the chat between me and you. The chat makes sure that, I'm, that you guys are being listened to and that your questions are being answered. So if you have any questions, ask them. And actually, I got another thing at two. And then I have next week, we'll be back here on YouTube. Uh, to finish up the seven secrets, and then we'll start talking about the next mini series we'll do. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you now. You'll probably start getting some information on it. But we have another mini series going on once I finish uh, this week's mini series this uh, uh, next Friday. All right. If there's no more questions, I want to say personally thank you for being here this week. Thank you for this is still a new forum for us going on the YouTube. Seems to be a lot of interaction. I like that. And a lot of people out there. If you're not a subscriber, take advantage of it. All right. The mini secret, the mini series continues next Friday at 12. 
And then after that, we're going to start a new mini series on a different aspect of the software. Um, this is what it's all about. If you like what you see, like us, follow us, um, and subscribe. Like us, follow us, and subscribe. Um, is this format for a beginner? Keith asked. This format is for a beginner. It is for uh, a veteran person in the market. But we can start you off as slow as you need. You want to learn about how to use the software? Yes. This format is set up for a beginner. Um, thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. Market kind of sold off a little bit. And that will happen. I, I, that really affects me as if I'm a trader. If I'm a longer-term investor, one day doesn't make a trend. One day pull off or one day blow up uh, doesn't really affect me. That's why I look at a longer term as a longer term investor. As a trader, that could hurt me. And I would, uh, I would accommodate the trades based on that shorter term analysis. All right. But Keith, yes, we can help you as a beginner. And, and, and no matter how you invest in the market, we have a timing signal that will fit you. All right. With that, folks, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you for being here. Remember, click on the little bell in the top right-hand corner, number one. Number two, if you're not a subscriber, please sign up. And Keith, what happens when you first sign up, you're going to get a call from a product support representative that will set up something called the Getting Started Training. There's a lot of tutorials within the software, um, Keith. There are a lot, all right, and... Uh, once you become a subscriber, we will take you through all of those tutorials. All right. Ciao, J uh, Jay. So, folks, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Adios, Vivendurci. Ciao. Sayonara. Au revoir. Hi, everybody. Did you like that presentation? Well, right now, we've got other videos for you as well. Click here and click here. Better yet, click them both. Thank you for being as part of these presentations. Take advantage of the information that's there for you. Have a great day.